Welcome to this Academy introduction to CFDs. In this video, we'll look at what a CFD is, its main benefits, and how it can be used in your trading. A CFD, or contract for difference, allows you to trade a wide range of popular financial markets, including individual stocks, stock indices, commodities, bonds, precious metals, and forex, in both rising and falling markets. CFDs are designed to mirror the price of these underlying assets and give you the ability to benefit from market movements without actually owning the underlying instrument. Technically, a contract for difference is a financial contract between a client and a CFD provider. The difference is the difference between the opening and closing price for the position. That difference is paid out in cash once the position has closed. CFDs allow you to trade with leverage. This means that you can trade nominal amounts that are larger than you would be able to if you were doing traditional stock trading. It allows you to put up a small margin to open a much larger position. In essence, CFDs provide a highly flexible alternative to trading shares or futures contracts the traditional way. Let's have a closer look at the main features of CFDs. Leverage is one of the main benefits of CFD trading. All CFD trades are leveraged, which enables you to take positions that are larger than the initial deposit on your trading account. For example, CFDs that track the main stock indices, including the German DAX index, offer the ability to trade an amount up to 200 times the size of your collateral. You could trade up to 100 times your collateral size on a crude oil CFD, or 20 times on a company such as Apple. These sizes will vary depending on your provider. This all means you can trade on small market moves and generate significant returns. However, beware. Leverage is something of a double-edged sword. It increases profits on winning trades, but it also amplifies losses on losing trades. Clearly, leverage is a feature of CFDs that you need to understand completely in order to reap the benefits from leverage trading and manage your risk at the same time. The use of leverage can lead to losses that exceed your initial deposit. Another main benefit of CFD trading is that you can profit from both rising and falling markets. We call that going long or going short. Go long if you expect the market price of the underlying asset to go up, and then your profits will rise in line with that increase. In the same way, your losses will increase if the price of the underlying asset falls. Essentially, going long is just like buying a traditional stock. The reverse of going long is going short. Most CFDs can be sold short, meaning your profit if the market falls. On a practical level, you'd initiate your trade by selling a CFD on a market you think is going to fall in price, aiming to buy it back at a lower price. Your profit would then come between the sell and buy prices. There's another benefit of CFD trading, and that's the ability to diversify market exposure by holding positions in a wide range of global markets at the same time, even if you just have limited trading capital. This is due to the relatively small size of the individual CFD contract. For example, if you want to trade a full crude oil futures contract, trading the minimum size of one lot is equal to trading a thousand barrels of crude. With a CFD, you can trade as few as 25 barrels. Using a CFD also helps to reduce foreign exchange risk. Let me give you an example. If you just wanted to buy traditional cash stocks such as Apple, which are priced in dollars and your account is in euros, the trading platform would convert your euros into dollars so that you can pay for those shares. As a result, you'd be charged a currency conversion cost when you buy and sell the shares. You might also lose money on the shares at the time you sell them due to currency movements. 
CFDs are denominated in different currencies. So if your account is in euros and you want to trade a CFD on dollar denominated Apple shares, you don't need to convert any euros to dollars. You just need to keep enough euros in your account as margin to cover any commission or potential losses. Only profit and losses, as well as commission paid, have to be converted into your account currency. A key aspect of CFD trading is the time frame. CFDs are ideal for active short-term trading or intraday trading. This is because they allow traders to profit from up or down price movements, occurring from hour to hour or from minute to minute by going long or short. CFD prices are quoted like underlying markets with bids and offers. The bid is the price you can sell at and the offer is the price you can buy at. Like anything else, there are some costs involved when trading CFDs. For CFDs on stocks, exchange-traded funds and exchange-traded commodities, you pay a commission, like you would if you were buying traditional stocks. For other types of CFD, the trading costs are automatically included in the bid-ask spread. There could also be other financing or borrowing costs associated with CFDs. These include the borrow fee that applies if you borrow stock in order to short single stock CFDs. We explain what shorting is in our separate training material.